Hello guys, welcome back to playing Ragged Boy, and today I'm back on Spore. Now I'm in the same place where I left off, but... Uh, you guys, you won't see this until I post it. Haha. Uh -huh. There we go. That should work. So, let's do this. Space stage, resetting galactic torque. Torque. So here we go. They're building our spaceship. Yes. Our lovely spaceship. Then the machine comes down or does it go up? What is it? Kaboom! See, it looks like we have multiple spaceships when we really don't. But lift off, you've successfully developed a ship capable of flight. The heavens beckon cosmos away to the universe is at your fingertips if you can learn how to fly this thing. Uh, welcome to the pinnacle of existence, the final frontier, the wildest, wildest west. Space. You control the ship and from this vantage, lead your race from planet-bound civilization to a vast gal galactic empire. Let's look at how you progress. This bar tracks your pro progress toward badges you earn as well as your proximity to the center of the galaxy. Mission Control on the planet's surface is anxious to speak to you. Let's learn how to communi communicate. Short this short range video communicator is your contact to those on the world below. You must be in the planet's orbit to open the line. A flashing signal means you have inco an incoming transmission. Congratulations, Cadet! You've got a fine right there. We are still adding new equipment to your ship, but we should have it ready for space travel in no time. Have you flown a spaceship before? No? Hmm. Well, nothing like a test flight while the entire population of Yelram, a planet, Messiah looks on. What do you say? Ready to earn your captain's badge? Okay, I'm in. That's the spirit. Each city on planet Marsera has launched a giant orb in celebration of our spa first spaceship. Really, you can't miss them. Take your ship on a spin around the planet to our seven seven of our cities fly through the orbs to break them once you have finished we will give you further instructions good luck and try not to scratch the paint your immediate goals okay Okay, I can do this. I don't know guys, I mean, I think I like this. This spaceship that we have. There we go. Transmission. Good job, Cadet. With flying like that, you'll make Captain no time. So what do you want me to do next? Now that you're an ace at flying, we are ready for you to use some of the sophisticated tools we've invented for your spaceship. We've been working on the ability to scan the plants, animals, and animals that you've discovered on your travels. Looks like this tool comes just in the nick of time. The Sporpedia record of our one of one of our own animals recently became corrupted at the same time the animal started exhibiting some odd symptoms. We need you to scan the animal so we can collect more information about this in species. The creature in question is exhibiting odd, an odd gl glowing trail. Your ship has been equipped with a radar tool that can be turned off and on in the main tool panel. It will point the, to mission targets and items of interest when on a planet's surface. The radar beeps faster when you are closer to your target. Select the scan tool from your main tools panel. Okay, this looks good. So, scan tool. Okay. Whoops. Okay. 
Wait a second. Come on. Okay. Excellent. Our scientists are eager, eager to begin analyzing the data. The information you collected was collected by scanning was quite valuable. Now it is clear we need to examine the species more closely. Your ship is equipped with an abduction beam, which you will find in your cargo panel. Please use this tool to collect a specimen and return it to us. I'll be back soon. Looks like you've collected the correct specimen. We will need you to drop it off inside one of our cities. Select the cargo you want to drop off in the drop-off panel and drop it off in the city. Make sure you beam it safely to the surface or we'll need you to collect another specimen and clean up your mess. Measurably fine work, cadet. You've provided us with an excellent specimen to research. Pro price of death once, I always say. It appears the specimen you collected is sick and infected with a virus that is capable from spreading at an alarming rate. It could endanger our entire ecosystem. Of course, we want to handle this compassionately. We've equipped your spaceship with a handy mini laser. It is precision that will take out infected creatures while avoiding the healthy creatures. Mini laser, okay. Okay. Sorry, aliens, you had to die. Okay, we need one more guy. There we go. Audible job, you are the right stuff. You've earned your homeward respect and confidence. We want you to pilot this spaceship to lead our race forward into galactic exploration and glory. You've earned this badge the title of captain. Our scientists have developed an interplanetary drive for your ship, but you'll need to install it first, Captain. Sounds good, I'm ready. Bye item. Captain, get out of your get out your spandex suit. Huh? <laughs> We're sending you on a space journey. We suspect we are not alone in this galaxy. We've picked up strange radio signals from the planet Nerna in orbit around our home star. We want you to investigate. We commend you, Captain. Mission Control, out. Ba -da -ba -ba! Congratulations, you have earned the badge and title of Captain. Okay. I know how this works, slightly. Okay. So... Ooh, what's this? Return ticket... Oh, can't use on Homeworld. Here we go. This is our solar system. Uh... Nerna. Oh, let's go on the planet. Open up our scanner. Uh, something is showing up on the ship's radar. Okay. Ooh, a crash light. It's a crash spacecraft, and it's emitting a strange radio signal. Fly to it and use the scan tool to investigate the crash site. Okay. Aliens, but no sign of life. It looks like they do some cryptic Mac before they died. Wait, the wreck has triggled a tri triggered, triggered a transfer beam. Some items are coming aboard. Okay. Missiles and interstellar drive, which seems to have unknown star's coordinates programmed into it. The wreck's damage looks like it came from a fight. The ship must have been sent from another planet to go to get help. 
Okay, well, let's head out. Do we need to come here? Okay. Uh, do we? Guess not. Leave this solar system. This is where we want to go. The interstellar drive is reacting to a responding beacon. Let's go here. Because this is where it's telling us to go. Here. This place that only has one... Picking up on the radar... Uh-oh. The city's already destroyed. Too late, the ruins might be what's left of the home colony of the aliens from the shipwreck. Scanning the ruins may reveal clues about what's happened here. Okay. We'll take this. Head down. Let's scan. Oops, I already had it. Okay. The scan came up with nothing, but seems to have triggered a response. Some activity is showing up on the radar. Enemies! That's not good. The scan must have triggered the colony's defenses. Uh-oh. These drones don't look friendly. Wait, an incoming transmission. Oh, they don't like us. Warning, Grox intruders detected. All Grox intruders will be terminated. Initiating self-defense code Grox 999. All Grox intruders will be terminated. Warning, all Grox intruders will be terminated. Um, not good. Okay, die. Oh, gosh. Okay, one guy left. Oof, our life. We are hurt. Oh gosh. I think we need to add more health to this thing, I don't know. Mission accomplished, return to our home world. SETI is revealed. Well, yeah, this is our home planet, right? Mission accomplished. I knew we knew we were alone. This is an extinct civilization. Hostile security drones in the Grox. Obvious. We must continue our exploration of the galaxy and potentially prepare for our hostilities. In order to do so, we need to set up colonies as bases of operation. Our scientists are ready. Reverse engineering the interstellar drive to replicate this technology. We have to also develop a SETI device for your ship. It will pick up signals of under sentient life in the galaxy indicated by radio single signals over stars you target. We need you to get at the helm of our space program, Captain. Oh, we place... Okay. I'll make the Empire proud. Why don't we go... Let's not go to Nerna since there is some, like, crash there and that seems kind of dangerous. Okay, so how does this place look? Looks like... There is no plant life whatsoever. Okay, so we don't want to do this one because I would like a sustainable place. So maybe we want to try Nerna. So, this one looks like it would have plants. Yes, it does. So, we'll scan. Okay. Uh, there are no animals. New plant. Okay, so this is all that's around. Does this have food? 
Okay, I don't like this planet either. Oh, this planet is found in the Crady system. Okay. Where is it? Uh. Cradney. Okay, Cradney system. Cradney system? Oh, here it is. Ooh. Oh, okay, we can make that. Let's go here. This planet is the planet we want. Planets in green orbits are easier to terraform and colonize than other planets with red or blue orbit paths. Okay. We'll take the green one. Okay. Looks like a good planet. Colonies can be established on any planet from barren moons to lush terra score three oasises. Fruitful colonies mine spice that can be traded. Okay, so we want to place it, it sounds like, near a spice uh, area with lots of spice so can we okay that's two spice right there we just got so that's two spice right there that they can take whoa that's cool look at that it's just like expand there's a sudden city somehow even though it's not supposed to be possible Congratulations, you've grown your own empire. Each colony's productivity is tied to its size. Size is limited by the terra score of the planet. Invest terraforming, and then add colonies and buildings to reap the highest rewards. Good day, Captain. It appears you made an excellent choice of planets to colonize. Planet Norton will be an excellent location for mine spice and establish a foothold in the galaxy. Repair. Okay. Terra score, terra score too low. Colonies by their vehicles. So how do we change? I guess we can't. Cargo. Okay. This is looking pretty good at the moment. Let's head home. Excellent work, Captain. Our empire will one day dominate the galaxy. We've been counting on you to visit this colony frequently to gather the spice it produces. Our scientists are busy researching new technologies to improve the terra score of planets, which will one day help to improve conditions of our new colony planet. In the meantime, we have more pressing matters to attend to. Are you ready to continue? I'm in. Captain, we have intercepted transmissions that we believe are coming from, an, from other advanced beings in the galaxy. Ooh, that's good. Uh, we need you to investigate and attempt to establish, to establish first contact. That use the study to equip on your spaceship to help find them. I will accept, of course. Short range arbit communicator, universal translator. Okay, that's good. Uh. Okay. So. Uh, so, can I recharge, recharge free, okay, let's head out, find an alien empire, whoa, whoa, what are those, what is that? So, in the galaxy, this is where we are. Okay.
travel trail. We'll have that. Visited. Nah. Empires. Okay, we'll have empires on. Allies and enemies. Uh, we need to look for a radio signal, though. Uh, so I can't reach. Ah, uh, here we go. Can I reach this? No. What are these? It's like three stars put together. Okay, we'll head back. Oh, here we go. Transmission from this planet. Oh, and this planet. Okay, we'll head here. So there's a transmission. Drake's equation was right. The living alien race. We are not alone. It looks like we have, they have sent an envoy to greet you. Perhaps you should talk to them and open the communications panel. Okay, guys. Uh, I will be right back. We're going to take a quick break, and then we will continue. Okay, guys. I'm back. And... Let's open our communications. Oh, glory. The glorious heavens shine their count... Whoa. Countenance upon the Lilo Empire... Another alien society has deemed us worthy of first contact. This is truly the most auspicious of occasions. We shall sup up the finest, most fragrant foods. We shall sing, we shall dance, and make merry. And lastly, we shall scrapbook furiously so that future generations may know of this day. And you have so much to be humble about. Just kidding. Really. Do you uh, want some cake? We have cake. Oh wait, we don't have any cake. Hmm. Hey, are you selling any cake? New. <laughs> Diplomat, diplomacy. Right, philosophy of chance. It looks like may be deceiving, but we are not normally a violent and warlike species. We enjoy the finer things in life, like food drink and laughter. Why, last month we had some friends over for dinner in the neighboring system and... They ate them? You are in a security zone. You have no sudden movements. Let's head home. Okay. Uh, the downloaded data from your recorder is quite amazing, Captain. We had no idea other space-faring civilizations were so close by. Well, we are well on our way establishing to establishing our place in the galactic community. It is probably a good idea to forge a good relationship with this race. We may need an ally in the future. Taking assignments from them will hopefully keep us in their good grace. They may also be interested in trade, which would be a great boost to our empire's wealth. Are you ready to take on more missions? Our cities have been busy producing spice in record amounts, resulting in a surplus we need you to look for potential buyers Ooh. among spacefaring empires to help boost our wealth. Sure, how can I do it? I have the spice you've already collected from our homeworld by visiting our colonies. The spice will be automatically loaded into your cargo bin. Find another one that's interested. 
Recharge. Okay. So, guys, I would like to thank you for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like and a comment. And I will see you guys next time.